is up everybody thank you for tuning into this week's video um we're gonna be taking a bit of a step back this week and what i mean by that is um the fossil bag i did a few videos ago or so um basically there was i think in the second half yeah in the second half there was a uh, part of the bag where it was just like a big chunk of rock and dirt or whatever you want to call it that had a bunch of rocks and fossils mixed in. So basically, what I did was I soaked that separately from the rest of the stuff, kind of broke it all up, and sifted through it for these fossils. And basically, that's what this video is gonna be. And the reason why I didn't show last time is because, well, it would've made the video like 15 minutes long. So I made it into its little own separate video. Probably didn't necessarily need to be made into a separate video, but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. And without further ado, I'm gonna send you over to my past self. Okay, so I'm not sure if I showed this previously yet, but if I didn't, um, here's what we got here. We've got like a bunch of rocks and whatnot that are trapped in dirt. And if you notice, we do have a coronoid stem right there. There's a very good possibility there could be more hiding in here. Um, so basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak this thing in water. And we've got some tools here just in case we need them. But basically, we're gonna take this apart and search for uh, more fossils. So, yeah, it should be interesting. So pretty much, I would expect this thing to dissolve right away as we pour the water on it. So it shouldn't be too difficult. The hardest part is gonna be trying not to make a mess of ourselves, but we should be able to figure that out. Yeah, see, all that dirt's just coming right off. And the water's relatively warm because I just got this out of the sink. Okay, it's about as full as it's gonna get without overflowing. If that's the case, that's why we have the tray underneath it, just so we don't put the water all over the floor. So it's pretty obvious that it's just gonna come out real nice and easy. But I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit just to mix even more things up. Kinda looks like chocolate milk. I don't know if your chocolate milk looks like this, you may not want to drink it, but it's close enough. Okay, so here's our bowl of water. Obviously, the rocks are still inside it, but just for the sake of having a little fun, why don't you, uh, if you want to, go down in the comments and maybe guess what might um, be in this bowl. I mean, if you've watched the first video, you'll kind of have an idea of what might be in here. But obviously we know there's coronoid stems, but there could be shark teeth, brachiopods, ammonites, snails. There's quite a few things that can be in here. So before we move ahead, um, if you want, just go ahead and comment down below what you think might be in there and see if you're close. Okay, still a lot of dirt in the bowl, but we'll take care of that later. Basically, what we're gonna do is we are gonna add more water to the bowl below. And I don't know if I'll be able to give you guys a good angle on this, but basically I'm going to tip the bowl at an angle and then kind of just sift sift the thing around in it to uh, wash away the dirt. Okay, so there's the rocks all cleaned. So basically, we're gonna grab our next strainer here, the orange one, and we're gonna dump that into there. Make sure there's no fossils on the bottom here. Okay, so after the cleaning process, that's what we're left with. And we're going to sort through that to hopefully find some fossils. Okay. 
Okay, so after I cleaned and sorted through the rock that we got from our dirt ball, um, I found four coronoid stems and a shark tooth, which is actually really cool. Um, way more than I expected to get out of it. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I'll put pictures there at the end. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, see you next time.